Independent Congressman Justin Amash just announced he started a, an exploratory committee into presidential run as possibly a libertarian third party candidate. Uh, usually they're kind of a problem, but for some folks, I mean, is, 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 this, is this really the time for this now, in your opinion, Joy? Well, you know, third party candidates are always a pain in the butt. <laughs> but I think that Amash is going to hurt the Republicans more than the Democrats. I'll tell you why. Be and and I'm not, this is not wishful thinking on my part, <laughs> I don't think. I looked him up. First of all, he's a libertarian, which to me is much closer to the Republicans than it is to Democrats. He's anti-EPA uh, regulations. He voted to repeal Obamacare. He's a pro-gun guy. And he's anti-choice. So even people who don't are not in love with Biden, like the Bernie brothers, maybe, I don't think they're going to go along with something like that. I think that the Republicans might split their vote because he he's more of a fiscal conservative, from what I read, than Trump. The, the Republican Party right now is the big spending party. This guy does not like that. So they may go for right. that. The Republicans, not the Democrats. Meg, yeah. Me hmm. Right. Meg, uh, Megan, you agree or disagree? I'm not trying to throw water on that argument, but I'm going to. So Justin Amash is, he is based ostensibly a libertarian, you're right, Joy, and um, he is the congressman from Michigan. Michigan is a swing state. There's about 10% of the Republican demographic are never Trumpers that would, in theory, vote for Joe Biden, and they will be picked off from voting for Joe Biden and vote for this libertarian candidate because, as you just said, he has all these, I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say fiscally conservative because libertarianism is a whole level uh, beyond that and, you know, completely anti, anti government regulation on any level. Uh, my husband's a libertarian. I have good friends that are libertarians. My friend Kennedy actually brought Congressman Amash as her date to the White House Correspondence Center a few years ago. He is a cult hero among libertarians and sort of independent, free thinking conservatives. I have a lot of friends at Reason Magazine that are going to be very excited about this. It 100% helps Trump hurts Biden, especially in his home state of Michigan, where he is a complete known, where nationally he seems to be probably less of a known as the other candidates running. And that swing state, again, as I said in the in earlier in this segment, it is going to be make or break in this election, and Biden can't afford to lose it, even if it means a spoiler like Justin Amash.